and welcome to a new episode of Poke Openings. Um, I've not really done one in a while. I did recently upload one that I filmed in February, um, although obviously that was quite a while ago, being as this is the start of June, to horribly date this video for anyone who watches it past June. Anyway, uh, today I have a Primal Clash triple pack. Uh, as you can see at the back, this uh, comes with two different um, promos, either Furfrau or Ditto. Now, it says um, they're promo cards, and indeed Ditto, as you can see, is a promo card. However, Furfrau isn't, and I've already opened that one. Um, however, I thought I'd save this one for the video because this is actually a promo and I like opening promos, uh, you know, on the video. Uh, something special about promo cards, obviously, hence why they're called promo cards. Uh, so let's just delve into it. There's flavour text on the back, although I'm sure if you really wanted to read it, you'd have found it online by now because the set is like literally months old. Um, Actually, there's a new set out. I want to say it's Emerald Clash, but maybe it's not called Emerald Clash. I can't remember. It's got Rayquaza on the front, or the pack I've seen does, anyway. Uh, which I was unaware of until I saw it in the Toys R Us. So, let's get the coin out first. The coin is a Froakie. A silverish. I think I have a blue Froakie coin, but not a silver one. This is pretty cool. To add to the massive, massive coin collection that I have. Uh, plastic coins, that is. And the promo card itself, which I adore. It's a ditto, but it kind of looks like a combination between a Pikachu and sort of like... Uh, I want to say a Sligoo, a bit. Or maybe it is just trying to be Pikachu and sort of halfway through transforming into it. That's the attacks and stuff, if you want to read it. And it is promo number 40. XY 40, not just promo number 40 being as there's been literally hundreds of them. And of course, the main point of watching this video, the three Primal Clash packs, which is Mega Agron, I think that's Mega Agron, Mega Gardevoir, and um, uh, Primal Groudon. I was going to say Mega Groudon for a second. So I'm going to put them in order of my favourite Pokemon, and we'll start opening them. Okay, my battery disagreed with that statement apparently because it just died but anyway i'm back um so we'll start with mega gardevoir then mega Hagron, then grow um primal Grodon, not Grodal primon uh i've opened three packs of these but admittedly i'm still not sure what to expect i did get two i think they're called primal reversion cards they sort of look like full art but they're not holographic or anything and they're just simply rare um I mean, if I pull one in the video, I can explain more, which I imagine I will pull one. I got, managed to get a reverse and a regular rare, uh, and actually kind of got a bit excited when I first pulled it, because I thought I got a full art, and then realised it wasn't quite a full art. Anyway, we start off with a really kawaii torchic there. That's, that's super cute. Uh, followed by a Tynamo. That's also another really cute one. Uh, Rhyhorn, not quite as cute, admittedly, but he's pretty cool. He's in a pack of Rhydon. They're kind of all charging off in different directions for some reason. Then we have a Tentacool in sort of a slightly abstract kind of artwork there, or maybe it's just me. Then we have an Electric, sort of looking forlornly up at the sky. Oh. We have a Agron Spirit Link. Ah yes, the Spirit Link cards. They sort of work with particular things and this one has that effect. Uh, oh yeah, it, basically you can Mega Evolve Agron EX to Mega Agron EX so that's the turn ending. Which is pretty cool. I, I've i not kept up with the competitive TCG so I'm not sure if that's widely used or not. We have a Linoon looking pretty ferocious there actually. We have, ooh, a Buffalant. I uh, do like me some Buffalant. Sap. Sap Zipper. Oh, cool. It has the same name as an actual ability in the game. Our reverse is a Drillba. That's cool. I like Drillba. Or well, lots of Drillbas in this case. That's a theme for this. It seems quite a lot of Pokemon in the same piece of artwork. And we have. Ooh, nice. We have a Hollow Hippodon. I keep forgetting Hippodon even exists. 
not that I dislike the Pokemon, it's just, it's, well, it's a hippo. Um, you know, it doesn't look too much different to one. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Start with a hollow. That's a good way to start a video. Hopefully your luck keeps up for the next pack. Which is Mega Agron. Okay. So yeah, no primal reversion cards yet, but uh, let's not take that as too bad an omen, because before now I have sort of called it at the last card and uh, last pack and said, yeah, not going to get anything from this, and pulled like an EX or something, which is probably unlikely in this, but hey, you never know. And let's begin with a Bunnelby in sort of a, quite like that kind of art style. Once he's slightly cell shaded, no, well, not really cell, you know what I mean, like thick black outline, which is cool. And we have a clamp pearl, that's pretty standard, so you can't really see its face particularly well. Kind of just looks like sort of a picture taken from too far below. I don't know, maybe that's just me being nitpicky. We have star U's on a beach, just sunbathing, as starfish I want to do, actually. We have a Schwiel, oh, Schwiel, Schwiel came out as rather uh, German. Eh? We have a Volbeat, sort of in, that is a really derpy art style, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we have a Vibrava, or lots of Vibravas. So yeah, there seem to be three or four in each piece of artwork with like Pokemon that are in a group. It's, maybe that's just, ooh, I've not shuffled this very well then. Did I shuffle this at all? I may not have shuffled this pack. Shit. Okay, right. Well, um, I'm sure I shuffled this, didn't I? Maybe, I don't know. I'm sure watching at home, you've probably seen. Anyway, this is what I mean with this slightly kind of full art. Uh, this, wait, no, this is a tentacle. Primal reversion tentacle? I guess? Ah, hang on. Yeah, that's the one. It's a rever recovery, what? I'm confused. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, I kind of like these cards. They have like they have the artwork creeping up on the rest of the card and stuff, and sort of not quite bordered. And honestly, I don't know. I I kind of wish more cards did this. Uh, I mean, saying that, maybe the next set has it. Maybe this is going to be a standard for now on. But it's a pretty cool tentacle. We have a dive ball. Actually, no, I did shuffle this. It must ah yes, because reverse. What was that tentacle then? Was that uncommon? Sorry, I'm going to go back and check. Yeah, that was uncommon. Okay. It's really weird seeing a tentacle being uncommon, whatever. So we have a reverse... Rev, reverse? Reverse Weedle. That's pretty cool. And our rare is a Probopass. No, oh, cool. I don't actually have Probopass in card form, which is pretty cool. He is an interesting Pokemon, I guess, sort of... Again, much like Hippowdon, I kind of forget he exists. Um, but you know, it's like he can steal, that's pretty cool. And his design is certainly interesting, to say the least. These are his attacks and stuff. Okay, on to the last pack. Will this bring us some really, really good cards? Possibly. I'm pretty happy with the hollow and the rare I already have. That's the beauty of starting a set like this, these being my 4th, 5th and 6th packs to open, in that there's no sort of, there's no high chance of running into the same cards all the time. Uh, right. Okay. So, on to the last pack, and we begin with a Phoebus. That's pretty cool. And then, it, oh, it's a Mudkip. Not really cute. And like, the artwork is really dark, that's bizarre. It's like hiding under a bridge or something. Fair enough, that kind of makes it more lifelike, I suppose. We have a Sveal, oh, another Sveal, because the other one was 3D artwork and this is kind of upside down. And the artwork's better, if you ask me. Um, we have a Shroomish, oh, lots of Shroomish. I do rather love Shroomish, as you can see here. Yeah. The next card is a Zigzagoon. Wow, that's a really dark looking Zigzagoon. Sort of, that's a lot darker brown than it usually is. But, eh, wherever. We have a Mega Gardevoir Spirit Link. No, Gardevoir Spirit Link. 
not Mega Gardevoir, although that is what it works on. We, ooh, okay, we have another Primal Reversion kind of semi full art, non hollow, uncommon electric thingy. That's pretty cool. I am liking the sort of like the artwork's really dynamic and stuff for all of these. Like, it looks like there's a lot of detail put into it. Okay, our next. Oh, okay, we have another full art thingy, which is Bunnelby. Bunnelby looking, uh, kind of, again, pretty damn kick ass. This is like the best version of Bunnelby artistically I've ever seen. So, do they all have like primal attributes and stuff? I'm assuming it's. I mean, I've not looked into this, admittedly, so I apologize for infuriating any of you watching because you already know what's going on. We have a dough blade, which is pretty cool. Uh, reverse dough blade. And um, our rare is a Ninetales. That's pretty cool. It's um, so two primal reversions in that pack. That's interesting. I only thought you could get one uh, in a pack. But anyway, cool. So, to uh, recap rare Ninetales, rare um, uh, Probo Pass, and a Hollow Hip Howdon, along with. Some pretty cool uh, primal reversions. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll probably make some more uh, poke openings in the next few days because I have quite a few packs I haven't opened yet. I kind of look forward to getting back into it and kind of opening packs again and possibly maybe getting some packs of um, the newest set. So, until next time, goodbye.